Hello, welcome to English lesson of today. Of course, guys, today is a new lesson, and today is very interesting. So you're going to see how we can speak with British accent. So let's now look at the fast and easiest way that can help us help us sound fluent when we're speaking English. British accent. Of course, I'm not alone. I'm with another expert English teacher. This is none other than Papa Teach Me. This is a British English teacher. He's going to help us. Make sure you subscribe on Salus English Academy. Salus English Academy. So that you can learn English with me slowly, slowly. Okay? With me, Claude Dutavana. Let's get it started. Teacher, Papa, teach me. We got together slowly. Sometimes. Yes. Sometimes we remove, we drop the H sound at the beginning of some words. Dropping the H is very common in Cockney and similar styles. Yes, dropping H. So this is Papa, teach me. Papa, teach me. Numgonjereza yigisha ichonjereza. Okay. So yo usha kuvganeza ichonjereza. When you want to speak English fluently, hari technique, haru burjo ba kore shaba na bano ba 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 la ruvuche monyine kujango ruvganeza. Okay. Hari nyuguti zimwe na zimwe zitakara yo ba vuga. Some letters drop. Okay. So like ni nyuguti ya H. H hara hani takara. Nihenshi ali nyuguti nyishi yes takaraza T, kuroto T and true T Just so that you can get to be able to learn in this English course, okay? So, now, let's go slowly to the end of the day You understand? Papa teach me, showing us how we can speak English very well, okay? So, here, Papa teach me, let's go So, let's do some examples mm. The word, hello the word hello. It is jambo hello. Ubusans go away urivuga gute. Mm. Papa teach me. Tell us. You could drop that H mm -hmm. so it sounds like hello. Yes. Now you see if you want to sound natural, you can drop that H and say hello to become instead of saying hello. Hello. Mm? Instead of saying hello. No, not hello. But say Hello, 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 hello. You see, different. Drop that H. Ida H itangira. Ida ita itakara. Ida ita itakara. Wundu yivujuruti. Hello. And that would be fine. Yes. But again, don't drop the H for every word. Good. Yes. Niba umunavuzi bingi ibi nabgo njine ili anyoguti ya H Ahanu ibi li hosi gomba gutakala No Hamge na hamge ili takala njine Ok Ariko nabgari hosi Ok Yes like in this word Hello Urumbo ho ili takala We are talking about Hello Hello Speak with me Hello Hello Good. Which begins with an H. No one does that. And it would sound like you're trying too hard. Mm. Remember that we want natural sounding British pronunciation. Yes, natural sounding British pronunciation. Okay. Ahanga har goes to kiri ebera. Nine hua kundi uvuga English. Muna kumvargo se uruomu bugo njereza. Okay. Yes. Remember. Ushobora kutabasha kuvuga neza ururimi rw'icyo ngereza bitewe na hano komoka okay ushobora kutaruvuga neza ushobora kutaruvuga nyine nka baruvukiyemo ariko byibuze icyo ngereza ubasha kuvuga kikaba cyumvikana clear english kikaba cyumvikana ku buryo nyine uvuga abantu bakakumva ariko hari abantu bavuga kubera ikintu bavuga amagambo nabi umuntu Okay, so byibuze reka kukivuga neza nk'umuntu wakivukiyemo like English native speakers ariko uvuge umuntu abyumve mu buryo bwumvikana okay clear English so nibyo turi kuri ya turebo uyu munsi urashaka kumvikana nyine umuntu mu British eh 
umuntu wo mu bwongereza uvuga neza icyo ngereza okay so tukabonye ko hari nyuguti ishobora gutakara yes some of just drop when they are speaking okay like in the word hello that beginning h okay you've seen that drop it then say hello hello we don't say hello no we don't say hello we say hello that's the goal here good so when is it common well it's most common when the h falls between two words mm. for example yes so here papa teach me try to explain okay yes when they are speaking english and you see the h is between two words uh, most of the time that the h drop drop you don't focus on that h okay yes amagamba hani nuzasangiria h ri hagati ya ndi magamba hani kunda gutaka okay in go home mm mm-hmm. this is an example example urugero umuntu abya ati go home go home nakanukoro usanzwe bivuga ute wowe go home go home okay nidyo jambo dufite that's the word we have go home so let's see now how can pronounce this one let's drop that h so it sounds like mm-hmm. go home go home now you see go home you drop that h drop it ijugunye ikure hiriya h iri hash ntabwo ivugika go home ntabwo bavanga go home okay but instead you see you say go home Go warm. Ninga go warm. Niko bita bimera. Okay? It flows nicely, right? Mm, flows nicely. But why? Well, we're now connecting those two words. Yes. Connecting two words. Nikuvuka ngo iyo bavuga icyongereza, my friends. Nugu huza magambo byihuse. Kubera kuyahuza rero mu buryo bwihuse word connection hari nyuko zishobora gutakara okay noneho ukavuga neza yes so ntaga ari kuvuga ijambo n'inyuguti zirigize zose ntabwo aburi muvuga icyongereza okay like this word go home ni go home okay ari kia h urabona ko iratakara they drop that h they say go home because by uje okay they connected and become like one word go on okay with a w sound yes go home go home say it with me go home go home say it with us please go home go home aho kuri kuvuga ngo go home urumva uhita wivugira uti go home go home subiramo subiramo go home Connected speech is very important. Connected speech, okay? Yes, connect. Connect your words. Connect your words. Aho kukibaza ute amagambo nzaya huza gute? Good. So, nukomeza kwigana nange Claude Rutabana Salus English Academy. Byose ugomba kubibona neza ubundi ukagivuga English udakeneye umusemuzi. Yes. Harabantu rwose nzi bize icyongereza ariko iyo bari kushaka kukivugana n'umuntu tuvuge waruvukemo bikenera bakenera umusemuzi bakenera umuntu basemurira kandi umuntu yize icyongereza do you understand kubera ko akivuga nabi yes ariko nuzu kigana nange okay you understand ushobora kuvuga icyongereza kiri clear kimeze neza bakumva nta undi musemuzi okay let's go now whole sentence good I'm gonna go home. Yes, another sentence. It could be urundi dujero. I am going to go home. I'm gonna go home. You understand my sentence? I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna go home. Hey. I'm gonna go home. Yes, some people say I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna go home. Huh? Arabona zavu ngo I'm going to go home. Ariko turebe turebe the right 
pronunciation, how we connect. How can we connect all these words and sound like a British, eh? British people? We're going to drop that H. Yes. So say it with me. Let's practice. Mm -hmm. Let's now practice. Are you ready, guys? Let's practice this sentence. Okay, together. Together. I'm going to go home. I'm going to go home. I'm going to go home. Do you understand? Say it. I'm going to go home. I'm gonna go um kandi kibazo su kuvuga vuba usha no kuvuga buke buhoro okay ariko umuntu akumva bivuga neza biravugite neza I'm gonna go um not I'm gonna go home no we don't say I'm gonna go home no ahugo you drop you drop that h and you connect words I'm gonna go um I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna go home. Okay? I'm going to his house. Yes. We have another sentence. I am going to his house. You understand this? I am going to his house. So, let's go slowly. Let's go through it and erase it and see how we can pronounce, how we can connect all these words and sound like a British. Eh? Papa, teach me. You don't want to sound like a robot. You want to sound like a human. Yes. So, we could possibly drop both of those H's. Hmm. I'm going to his house. Okay, so remember today we are looking at the, all these H. So you see how H e nyuguti ya hash irata kare nyuguti ya ha goes and when she rubs na kohara kunu ita kara hanyumuga ituhuza magambo uvundi kavangi jambo ni mwan then you speak English kumvuni mezenes. Okay, good. So I am going to his house. His yo hash yo kuri his dushwara kuita. House na yo tuka India hash yo kuri house tukaita. Viraza kumiraviti. How does it sound? <laughs> Let's go now. I'm going to his house. Yes. Now trusigarana. I'm going to his house. I'm going to his house. I'm going to his house. Can you repeat that? Repeat after me. I'm going to his house. I'm going to his house. I'm going to his house. Now I've got I'm going to his house. No, that's not natural. I'm going to his house. Mm -hmm. That's fine. You say it. I'm going to his house. Dusubira Nemo guys. Repeat together. I'm going to his house. Urum Vokon Habgo Bavango. I am going to his house. I'm going to his house. No. I'm going to his house. I'm going to his house. Connect. Drop all those H there. Then you do what? Connect. Connect words and say, I'm going to his house. Where are you going? I'm going to his house. I'm going to his house. I'm going to his house. Yes. I'm going to his house. Where are you going? I'm going to his house. I'm going to his house. Aka kumpi kanye? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Another option, keep the first H, drop the second one. Yes. Uwundi buryo bwo bushoboka hano Urabona harimo H ebyiri cyase ushobora kuvuga ibintu n'ingo magambo menshi ari gizo nyuguti zose zitagenda zitakara akabatakara mimwe agasigara mindi akumva bimeze neza ariko ahanini hashobora gutakara ya nyuma okay no mvuze ngo I'm going to his house ugashanga wenda to his rumba niyo ya mbere iragumamo Ariko yindi yo kuri house irahite itakara okay so 
bizahita bivugika gute I'm going to his house good I'm going to his house okay I'm going to his house I'm going to his house Birukumvika none hano ariko hano uzaba ushaka neza 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 kumvikanisha ko inzu ugiyeho ari yande ya runaka uza ushaka rakaza nyiri iyo nzu okay ni mambo then you stress his house i'm going to his house okay so his is aba ibaye important word to you okay his now is going to be an important word you want you stress it so that people can understand who is that who's that house so they say i'm going to his house i'm going to his house i'm going to his house not i'm going to his house no not i'm going to his house but you can say i'm going to his house to his house okay yes i'm going to his house that one sounds more cockney to me mm. i don't know why it just does mm. but you have the option right mm -hmm. and of course there's the option of keeping both h's and of course that's fine too yes and this h is also okay oh you can keep all of them okay okay rekatkumbano teacher i'm going to his house mm. okay Sometime ushaka kuvuga kuti I'm going to his house. Mm. Mm -hmm. See they all sound British, mm -hmm. they're just different styles. Mm -hmm. Try different ways of saying it, see what feels comfortable to you. Yes. So you see sometimes hari inzira ushaka kuvuga mu buryo butandukanye ariko kabivuga neza zikabari accent zitandukanye ariko uzuse ziri British. Okay, so I go back. I'm going to his house. I go novango. I'm going to his house. Okay, urumva yuko bira shovoka. I go to his house. Nuko is ayomagambo. Abaya baya important. Abaya baya very important. Niyo ushaka kumvika nisha. Okay, then you stress. Then say I'm going to his house. I go. Natural, natural, muscle British English. So they, they drop all these edges and say, I'm going to his house. I'm going to his house. They, yes, sometimes you can say, I'm going to his house. But you see, a lot of the time, they say, I'm going to his house. I'm going to his house. To his house. I'm going to his house. Yes. So, yes, speak English fluently. Good. Subscribe on YouTube, Salus English Academy. Then we study together English. Okay, we work on our pronunciation. Good. That is how you get natural sounding British pronunciation. Great. New sentence, mm. new question. Another, another, another sentence. A question here. Yeah. Good. How can you say this? Look at the H's. Mm -hmm. Would you drop one, both, or none? Mm. Plan how you might want to say this. Okay. Uh -huh. You have to plan how you have to say this. Sentence. Good. Tkumfe iyi sentence. Please. Try a few different ways. Uh -huh. Now, depending on the time or depending on my mood, mm. I might say this a few different ways. Yes. Let me just try now. Okay, quickly. Um, how much was your hotel? Mm -hmm. How much was your hotel? How much was your hotel? Uh huh. No budget, How much was your hotel? If I say it slowly, how much was your hotel? Good. No neho piti na mu dari mo acho no kuva gache buhoro. Ariko sinero. How much was your hotel? You can speak slowly. How much was your hotel? Okay, no problem. Mm -hmm. In two seconds, I pronounced that in two different ways. Yes. So remember, this isn't a fixed style. Yes. This isn't a fixed style. Nabgari, nabgari chinu chira ho chita gomba gu hindu ka, okay? Nabibab ki yeko u gomba kujira jaza kuvuga English. Just mu buryo bgao, 
ariko nanone buri clear clear ku buryo atazakendera umusemoze mu buryo bwumvikana okay uburyo bwa bari kunyine ukumva ko bwumvikana okay because harumuntu uvuga icyongereza ukumva cyabaye rundi ruri mu rushashi kubera ki kubera accent ye umvariye bwite okay how much was your hotel variety uh -huh. is the key word yes and knowing that you can be lazy with pronunciation that's key to good important the thing here haraba no bagira ubunebwe mu kuvuga icyongereza okay akavuga ati ah iyo nyivuze gutya baravuga ngo ndimo ndirya no way no ndi sindi mbari ko kivugwa vuga neza okay so kutagira ubunebwe mu kuvuga neza icyongereza nibyo kintu kizagufasha cyane guhita uvuga neza english okay good be confident sounding natural yeah okay now the l sound yes the l sound e sound ya l ikunda kugora abantu hmm? first we need to talk about the position of your tongue the position of your tongue ururimi ruba rumeze gute iyo uvugi irijwi ya l okay okay tell us now uh -huh. say this word mm. really say this word right now but feel where your tongue hits the top of your mouth where exactly on your tongue hits where exactly here when you pronounce the l sound mm. If you're German or Austrian, mm -hmm. you probably pronounced it apple, apple, apple. <laughs> the word is apple. So, depending on where you come from, mm, you're an Indian, you're from uh, all those countries, the teacher said, eh? apple. Can you say apple? Can you say apple, apple, apple? Eh. And the way you would make your L sound is that the tip of your tongue, the very top of it, mm -hmm. would hit just here in the mouth. Mm. This is called the alveolar ridge at the top of your mouth, just yes. behind the top teeth. In some other languages like Korean, maybe you'll use this part of the tongue on mm -hmm. this part of the mouth. That's called the palate. Again, alveolar ridge, palate. Yes. You don't need to remember those names. And some mm. languages find it very difficult to pronounce and distinguish between the L and R sounds. Mm. And if you need help pronouncing or distinguishing between the L and R, yes. Ese wa buzi gutandukanya aya ma sound cyase ya majwi L R we have L and R. So when we're speaking English, please. These sounds are different. Definitely watch this video before you continue. Also, when students ask me is it obvious that English isn't my first language? Well, the L sound is one of those sounds that mm. makes it obvious. Yes. Now, that is not a bad thing at all. But I understand that some people prefer to have fully British pronunciation. And that okay, but uh, you guys, I uh, think you understand here. I think you understand this theory because he speaks so slow. Okay. That's fine. So, how do we do that? Mm. It's all about where you put your tongue. Yes. And this is what teachers mean when they talk about dark and light L's. The mm. light L is basically how I modeled the German pronunciation of Apple. Sure. Apple. Remember I told you the tip of the tongue is going to hit that alveolar ridge mm. just behind your top teeth. Okay. So iyo uvuga aya ma sound these sounds L and R. So the way you use your tongue, your tongue ururimi uburyo rukoresha nibyo bizaguha kugira kumvikana neza, eh? Yes, this L, the light L is for Ls at the beginning of mm. words or when there is a vowel sound just after the L. Yes. Okay, but what does that mean? All right, let's look at the word lolly mm -hmm. both this l and this l are light l's why yeah. because it begins with an l sound and this l has a vowel sound after so they will both come from the same tongue position yes 
tongue possession when you are sounding or when you are speaking all these words with the sounds of l l okay so l and r different so here let's not talk about this l okay for example this word lolly not rory okay lolly okay hitting the same spot in the mouth yes l l lolly 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 say it with me lolly, lolly. good but with dark l's the tongue position changes slightly yeah the teacher tried to differentiate all these l they say dark l and the right l so let's see very that. very small difference yes but very noticeable mm. with the dark l yeah. the tongue will hit more against the back of the top teeth mm. or even just under the top teeth just here okay this will depend of course on your mouth teeth and tongue size and shape Mm. Of course, everyone is different, so I can't tell you exactly where you should sure. put your tongue. For mm. example, if I used the dark L with the word lolly, mm -hmm. remember they should both be light L's. Lolly. If I said them in the dark L way, it would sound like this: lolly, lolly. <laughs> okay, but it will see if you sound like a lolly, eh? lolly. Eh. Sounds weird, right? Yes. Sound Weird because if say lolly, when we talk about people, you will use na virgos, you will use jambon na vi. Ribirindi richasha, okay? We will use shoko vango lolly, 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 lolly. Can they jambon lolly? Then you say lolly. Can they yari lolly, lolly, okay? So please, you will use go say English. Kira jizani ne ube. Sounds wrong, and it's all because Neza. the tongue is in the wrong place. Yes. All right. So. So, what do you do? Do you have to learn to speak in a language that you can understand? Okay. Good. Tongue position in your mouth. Okay. Ni mburi ni mero gumbo kubaru duri kudienda gute. Okay. So, ni mero mvu gumbo kuzo kuzo kigana English nange. Okay. Kigana English na Claude ruto bana on Salus English Academy on the YouTube. Really simple. You go there, subscribe on Salus English Academy, and you learn. Okay. You get the lesson. You get free course there. Mm -hmm. So, hello, not hello. That would sound silly. Okay. I'm kidding. Would sound silly. Yeah. So again, going back to this word, you could pronounce it apple, apple. Say it with me, apple, apple. Well done, brilliant. You're amazing. Okay, now using everything you've learned in today's lesson、mm. and everything you learned in Unit One about the glottal T, let's practice everything. With these three sentences. Okay, now we have sentences here. Three sentences to practice everything we learn today in English. Okay, yes. I think now you subscribed on Salus English Academy so that you can miss any lesson and this kind of lesson. Okay, yes. Go there and learn English freely. Good. Let's go on up. But teach me. Look at the sounds.、Yes. Look at the different ways that you could pronounce these、mm. using glottal t's, dropped h's, l's for w sounds. So many options. Yes. Whatever feels comfortable for you to say will sound natural.、Mm. That's the goal. Good.、Um, let me just give you an example. So we've got Elame. What's his name? Elame. What's his name? Hmm. Hello, Urumva Avzegute. Hello, mate. What is his name? Hello, mate. What is his name? Hello, mate. What is his name?、Mm? Yes. I could say Aravuga Gurcho. No way. Okay. Hello, mate. What is his name? Hello, mate. Hello, mate. Hello, mate. Hello, mate. It's like that. Did you see? Huh? Let's go now.、Hmm? Is it Hector? Yeah. So notice, I. It's Hector. 
Mm -hmm. It's head debt. Okay, didn't drop every H. I didn't use glottal T's mm -hmm. everywhere. Wait, did I? Okay, no, I used glottal T's everywhere, but um, I didn't drop the H. Yes, so when, when he say that those are glottal T's, you know, in English, you mona vuga English, ingine kiani kiani kuzire sound is a ta za ta harita rugo zita nyinshi zita kara ahandi nyine nzita kare but yes just be za kubera experience yo wiga cyane cyase yo wiga nye na salus english academy you know many many tricks okay like you say oh i like english but i like english but 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 how kuvango but rumba yo yeah, by glotter. Okay, yeah, by glotter. Good. Does everyone know that? Let's but let, let's first finish this. In Hector. Yeah. You might pronounce it completely differently, and mm. that will be fine. Yeah. It will still sound British, but it will sound natural for you. Natural. That's the important thing. All right. Second one. Um, how much do you hate me? How much do you hate me? How much do you hate me? Hmm. But how does he say this guy? Is it a lot? Mm. See, no. Is it a lot? Is it a lot? Mm. How much do you hate me? Is it a lot? You see? Yes. <laughs> but that time I used more H's than before. Mm. And that's fine. Okay, um, next one. Mm -hmm. I have to work at the hotel late today. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, mm. I usually drop the H when it's I have to. Mm -hmm. I have to go. I have to do a thing. I have to do a thing. I have to work. I have to go. Okay, not I have to go. You see that H? There. You drop it. Okay. I have to go. I have to read. I have to speak English. I have to learn. I have to sleep. Huh? I have to. Not I have to. Not only I have to, but he has to, she has to, yes. those two. Mm. He has to, she has to. Yes, sir. Sure. For me, it's very common. But again, this isn't about copying my style specifically. This yes. is about finding your own style. Good. So practice, mm. try a few different ways, mm -hmm. see what works for you. Good. Well, then, I really thank you. Now, I come to the end of today's lesson, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the Salus English Academy. Salus English Academy. So that you don't miss any this kind of lesson. Uh, hit like button and share and comment if you want to tell me something or write to me on the email address claudelutabana at gmail.com if you want to talk to me directly in my inbox. So let's cut then meet the next time, guys. All the best to you. Bye bye.